Hi everybody, this is another TFR Drones video and this is the video number two of my X-Cam Comcopter uh, White Seats uh, Multicopter and on this video I'm going to do the maiden flight with um, using two uh, LiPos in parallel so I'm going to be using two 3S 5200 uh, Multistars and as you can see, I got the parallel adapter over here. And see what kind of flying time I'm gonna be you know, doing with this. Because I'm waiting for the GPS to acquire the satellites. And as you can see, the red light stopped flashing, so that means that he, he acquired full satellites. So I'm gonna proceed to take off. I'm in attitude mode and just testing, you know, how the aircraft's maneuvering. I'm gonna bring it back in reverse. Then I'm gonna do like a punch it to see, you know, how fast he will climb. Launch it now. I didn't went all the way full throttle, but it climbed, you know, pretty decent. I have to, like I said, next time I put a battery, I have to make sure the battery is uh, 
move forward a little bit more. Okay, so I got nine minutes of flying time. So let's see if I can do at least 15 with these two batteries. Uh, these two batteries in combination, they are the equivalent of uh, 10,400 milliamps. Some people that were asking me, you know, why they use 4S, but the reason is these motors are designed to fly on 4S, but not with the size of props that I'm using. I'm gonna go back to UBS mode. If I wanna use, uh, if I wanna use like uh, uh, 4S, I will have to use nine inch props in this. And for me, for this frame, this frame is a 600. Nine inch props is way too small. So for 3S, they recommend to use props between 10 to 12 inches. So I decided to put 11 inch in here but well, probably I might end up down the road putting 12 inch and see if I can get a little bit more flying time whatever I'm, I might end up getting now like I said I estimate that I'm gonna get probably like 15 minutes maybe if I put a 12 inch I'm gonna increase the flying time to like who knows maybe maybe like uh, you know two extra minutes hopefully and also beside that I have to do a couple of things to try to save you know weight of the aircraft uh, these motors they came with really long uh, cables that they are running through the uh, arms and those cables they go into the they reach the ESCs and the cables are way too long so I might have to you know cut them a little bit more so in that way you know I would save weight on that also the brackets that I'm using right now to hold my video transmitter as you can see there I might have to pull like a lighter weight bracket because I mean it's cool that those brackets that give me the ability to put the video transmitter on one side and the other side I can put the LED light but it's almost like a hundred grand extra those two brackets so I'm gonna see if I can get brackets that they will that will do the same job or it won't require that much uh, uh, weight, you know, other weight for the aircraft. That's another thing that I'm gonna do. I set up the, this switch over here so I can do set the gains from the remote. And the gains, I felt that they were too high, so I lowered it with this. And it's, it, it, I set up this switch over here so I can adjust the the roll and pitch gains. The jaw I feel is perfect, so it doesn't require any further adjustments. Okay, so I did 50 minutes and 50 seconds, so almost 16. It's a decent amount of flying time for the kind of equipment that I got over here. So once I do change the brackets and pull the larger props, hopefully I might my goal, you know, I'll, I'll leave, uh, at least you know 70 minutes with these double batteries and uh, maybe 50 minutes with a single 8000 and see if I can do. A better flying time with this aircraft okay so i hope you guys like this video and it was helpful for you um 
please don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and favorite this video. Thanks.